Does anyone actually understand Celsius? Like, even the people that use it, do you really know what's going on there? Okay, I'm an American, and before every other country jumps on this girl and is like, yes, listen, they don't teach us jack about Celsius. I know about Celsius because I have a degree in physics, and when you get to a STEM degree, they start to use the metric system because it's better. But until then, they don't teach us anything about it. And to this day, I know how the metric system works. I understand how it's based, I know how it's created and everything. But still, if you told me, oh, it's 30 degrees Celsius outside, I don't know if I should put on a coat or wear shorts. Because I, in my brain, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, so I don't know what that feels like. Because that, even though I understand the metric system and I genuinely think it's better, I just don't know because I'm American. That being said, blonde girl, cat, I'm gonna learn you a thing or two about how dog shit our <laughs> measuring system is. First off, Fahrenheit was created first by a guy named Daniel Fahrenheit. <laughs> he, he created it by mixing salt and water together. And then when that froze, that became the zero degree temperature, which I want to point out isn't consistent. It's a mixture. So unless you mix it to the exact same ratio of water to salt that he did, you'll never be able to recreate the zero. It's so stupid. And he even changed it because he was like, it was like a weird number for the freezing point of water. And he's like, I want it to be closer to 30. He didn't even make it 30. He made it 32. Why? I don't know. And then he made a hundred degrees the temperature of a human body, which A, changes, and it's not even 100 degrees. Our normal body temperature isn't 100 degrees. It's close. That's so stupid for a measuring system. That's so incredibly dumb. And then 20 years later, Anders Celsius is like, why not just make the freezing point of water zero and the boiling point 100? It makes so much more sense. You know, water, the thing that is the most plentiful and thing we use every single day. Not some weird mixture, but just water. And even better, it's a ratio of tens. So zero to a hundred. That's most of what the metric system does. They start with one unit of, unit of measure and then break it up into tens. The Americans don't do that. Nope. How many inches are in a foot? 12. How many feet in a yard? Three. How many feet in a mile? 5,280. The, the, what? But no, the metric system's just like, how many, how many meters in a kilometer? A thousand. You just multiply by a thousand. All of it makes sense. Also, while I'm still shitting on the American measurement system, how do we get a foot? It's King Henry's foot. Yeah, that's not right. That's right. It's not based on anything we deal with every single day. It's based off of a guy. And then how did we get inches, by the way? Three grains of barley end to end. What? It's not one grain of barley, which at least somewhat would make sense. It's three. Honestly, I could break out every single measurement the Americans use, and they're all garbage. All of them. None of them are good. They're not based on anything that we use every day or see every day or like is part of like a consistent world thing. And as far as I know, the only thing we did right is time. Because metric and imperial both use the same frames of time. Because if we didn't, there would be so many problems in the world of science. But other than that, they just screwed everything up. So when you say, does everyone understand Celsius? Yes, because it makes perfect sense. But I also understand you because I don't know what it means when I have to like dress for the day in Celsius.